Hello. Uh, now that we've talked about different classes of output stages, uh, perhaps it's a good time to talk about power op-amps. And a power op-amp is uh, nothing more than typically a regular low power op-amp uh, with a high power output stage. Uh, an example of a high power op-amp I've listed there is uh, Texas Instruments OPA567. And if we look at the data sheet for that op-amp, we will see that it looks like the data sheet for any standard op-amp in terms of the types of parameters that we will see in the electrical characteristics table. Uh, but if we look at the values, we will see that the values for some parameters are very different from uh, those of a low power op-amp, especially those that have to do with uh, the power of the circuit, as well as we will see some additional functionality that is not always present in a regular op-amp. For example, I've noted there um, a couple of interesting characteristics. The current limit is a very high current limit. It can go up to 2 amps and it is externally adjustable and it explains in the data sheet how to go about uh, setting up the circuit to, to adjust it. Uh, the OPA567 also includes some flag pins, uh, specifically a current limit flag and a thermal overstress or temperature flag. And uh, the purpose of these pins is that they're typically digital output pins and uh, they will be uh, high or low under normal operation but then when the, uh, once the current limit has been uh, reached or the uh, temperature limit has been reached they will change their value to notify the user that um, there is a stress on the circuit. There is also an enable uh, pin which has two possible functionalities. Uh, it can be set to uh, 1 or 0 depending on the logic uh, but the idea is that uh, when it is uh, set to enable then the op-amp just functions as a regular op-amp when it's set to being disabled uh, then essentially the op-amp goes into high Z mode or high impedance mode the advantage of this is that when we're not using the op-amp um, we can disable it therefore lowering the uh, power dissipation during those periods when we are not using it and just enable it when we are using it. That way we will avoid uh, the quiescent current dissipation. But in the case of the OPA567, the um, enable pin can also be connected to uh, the thermal flag to provide thermal protection. Essentially, when the thermal flag pin uh, flags, it can be fed back into the enable pin in order to disable the open. A common configuration that is used with um, power amplifiers or power amplifier circuits is that of a bridge amplifier. And uh, the advantage of the bridge amplifier is that it allows to double the output voltage swing um, to close to twice the original voltage swing of each op-amp without increasing the supply voltage. To take a look at how that works, I have drawn the circuit here. Notice that the input signal is connected to uh, two power op-amps, A1 and A2. Uh, one of them is connected as a non-inverting amplifier, that will be A1 in this case, where the input signal is fed into the non-inverting input terminal, and the other one is uh, connected as an inverting amplifier, where the input signal is fed into the inverting input terminal. And typically, uh, these are set to have equal uh, gains, so we will have that 1 plus R2 over R1 will be equal to R4 over R3 and let's say that's equal to K and so in that case we will have that the non-inverting amplifier of I1 will have a gain of K and the inverting amplifier A2 will have a gain of negative K and so we expect that the um, output signals V out 1 and V out 2 of the independent or the individual amplifiers if we apply a sinusoidal input signal we expect that V out 1 will be equal to K times the input signal and V out 2 is going to be equal to negative K times the input signal. Because of the uh, complementary nature of the two waveforms, we can see that if we take the differential output voltage uh, V out 1 minus V out 2, what we will end up with is a sinusoidal signal which has twice the amplitude of um, the individual signals V out 1 and V out 2. And so this one will be equal to V out 
V out 1 minus V out 2. So let's imagine if my supplies uh, were set to 12 volts and my maximum voltage swing was set to 10 volts, for example. This would be 10 volts and minus 10 volts for my uh, individual output signals. But my differential output signal will have a swing or an amplitude of plus minus 20 volts. And that is without having to increase my supply voltages. So again, this is just uh, known as the bridge amplifier. It's a common configuration for doubling the output voltage in power circuits.